In this video, you will learn about per aligner movement constraints. These allow you to define how much you think a given tooth can be moved or rotated along various axes per one aligner. We will also show you examples of how this can assist you when producing clear aligners. Movement constraints have been inside OrthoSystem for many years, but they have been used to define how much teeth can be moved for the entirety of the treatment. This kind of constraint is still available, but now you can also define how much a specific tooth can be moved per aligner. By default, there is an example of constraints already installed in the system. It is important to point out that this is only an example and should not be used for medical treatments unless you agree with the values that have been put in. You can create as many profiles as you want and save them for future reference. It is possible to make groups of teeth to type in the same values for several teeth. The new Peralina movement constraints have several applications, including automatically finding the number of aligners needed, limiting the user on how much a tooth is moved using the mouse and keyboard per aligner. The possibility to adjust teeth movements so they don't violate the movement constraints. In this video, you've learned about the per aligner movement constraints and have been introduced to how they can be used. Their use in detail will be covered in some of the other videos. We hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.